Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. And today, we're going to Chile. Um, I was had the day off today and I, I went over to Trader Joe's to uh, get some supplies. I'm going to grill some pizza later on and maybe I'll post the, the picture underneath. And I was just looking for a different kind of wine to go with pizza. Um, usually my fallback is uh, Zinfandel. But I was looking through, uh, for a while I was thinking maybe I'd go to Spain, um, and then something caught my eye just to the left of Spain, and there was the uh, Chilean section. And Trader Joe's has been doing a, a really good job with their reserve labels. They all kind of look like this. And what they've been doing is getting some pretty well-known uh, wineries to, you know, bottle some of their lesser grapes and um, really, you know, sell some some good wine at a, at a pretty well-reduced cost. Um, so this is the 2010 Colchagua Valley Chile Red Blend. Notice it's 40% uh, Petit Verdot and 60% Cabernet Franc. So... What we're looking at here is is a lot of places in Chile, um, they're very popular for doing, you know, different Bordeaux style blends. You know, a lot of Cabernet, a lot of Merlot. Um, and when you're dealing with Petit Verdot and, and Cabernet Franc, these are, are typically more the, the blending grapes where you're going to get them in percentages, you know, anywhere from 2 to, to 15%. But to see like a, a different wine dominated by two blending grapes coming from a country that I'm really not as familiar with their wines. I have had Chilean wines in the past, but I really feel like I need to learn more. The The Colchagua Valley really is the, the major wine region of, of Chile, so you're going to see that label a lot. Um, on those Chilean wines. And and the winery itself that makes it, um, Erazures Ovalles, um, they've, they've been around for, I, I was looking at the history of that winery, they've been around since the 1870s. So there is a history um, of them making wines, and, and I'm assuming that, that their stuff's all right. So let's take a look at this. Now, color-wise, this is going to be darker than what you would see with most Cabernets and um, with most Cabernet Sauvignons and with most Merlots um, because there is such a huge amount of Petit Verdot in there, 40%. And that's normally what gives a lot of those Bordeaux blends the color, and they also bring a whole lot of tannins. Um, as far as the Cabernet Franc, you know, it's always been kind of a mixed bag for me. Um, you know, sometimes they're bringing some real vegetal components. Sometimes I get, you know, if it's treated in the right type of oak, like these neat um, mocha type of flavors. So I'm, I'm really... I'm See, here's what happens when you record things on your iPhone. Sometimes people try to call you, and when they do, it interrupts your flow. Right, so uh, the the uh, the video did get interrupted. I wasn't able to pick up in time. It's my old buddy Sue. I haven't talked to him in a while, so uh, Sue, I will be calling you back very soon. Um, now, again, I'm trying to go into this with an open uh, mind here, as open as I can be. As far as the color, it's a really deep uh, red, almost uh, purple. Kind of looks like blood a little bit. And as far as the nose, uh, Jeremy, you're going to like this. It is kind of chalky. It is kind of rubbery. I'm getting some good red fruits there. I'm getting some raspberry, blackberry. I'm getting a little red plum. Maybe a little red cassis. Smells, smells pretty nice. And there is a bit of like a vegetal type of component, like some green bell peppers, um, but but smells really good. Uh, let's get into this now. I 
and here's where that um, 40% Petit Verdot is really kicking in because, I mean, there's this, this really nice grip on your tongue. Lots of tannins, not overpowering. You know, they are on the sharper uh, end of the that mouthfeel type of spectrum, but it's not, you know off-putting in any way. It's it's very nice as far as the mouthfeel, and I still do get kind of like this chalky um, type of coating in my mouth right now. Really nice long acidity, which is, is great when you're talking about pairing things with food, like if you're going to be grilling some pizza later. I mean, I'm definitely seeing that. Yeah, and I am getting, you know, some of that red currant, some of that red plum, kind of like a an underripe type of plum. There are these vegetal characteristics. I mean, this is a a, a very nice wine for ten bucks, and and it's really got. <clears throat> I, I gotta say, this body, right? This this elegance that you don't find in a whole lot of $10 wines. Um, that being said, I mean, I, you know, it's, it's not something that, that you would want to make like your, your everyday wine, and it's not something that's going to impress everybody. It is just something different, you know? If you really are into um, Cabernets, if you really are into Merlots, I think you're going to get a lot of those characteristics that you like about those wines. It's just coming in from a different angle. It's kind of coming from the bottom up. Um, but but some good quality juice. Again, this very nice acidity. And I am looking forward to, to pairing this with some pizza later. Let's give it a... Let's give it a... Man, I, I, I'm kind of this battle in my head. I was saying 88, and then I was thinking 88 plus. But, I mean... This really is the goods. I'm going to go 89 minus, and for $10, I do suggest you you pick this up, especially if you're doing pizza. I, I can't stop thinking about it. Or or burgers, or just something, something tasty. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope that uh, if you haven't already, you've taken the time to enter our giveaway for those wine shields. I've, uh, we've got just about a week left. So um, if you go to that post for the uh, free stuff giveaway and leave a comment there, or if you like me on Facebook, or if you follow me on Twitter, leave a comment in one of those formats, and I'd love to put you in the running. Right now I got maybe like six seven people and 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 I'd love to see it, you know, go to somebody that maybe I haven't interacted with as much. So now's really your time. Come on out. You can even post a comment down here and 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 I will accept it. Just tell me what is your favorite episode or your favorite post from stayradwineblog.com. Hey everybody. Stay rad.